Hey guys, this is Nurse Beardy Success Channel and thank you for watching my videos. If you've been following my last four videos, you would have realized that I was in America and I had I was holidaying there. So move talking about America still. This is about how the American dollars confused me whilst I was there. So picture this scenario. I've just come back from New York and I had arrived at BWI airport in Maryland and I had only coins on me. I didn't have any other money, no dollar bills, nothing, just the coins. Now, I, at that time I was starving like hell and I wanted something to eat, but because I only had coins on me, the only things I could probably get was something from the snack machine. I checked out the snack machine and I saw some crisps. To you Americans listening, that would be chips to you. Um, saw one particular one that I wanted. So now I'm going through my bag, checking the, took out all the coins I had and I was going through it. The only problem is I didn't know how much money I had on me had no clue. I tried to go through it and count it but it really confused me though I could not make heads or tails of how much exactly I had. So this is funny. I had to text my friend AJ who um, came text back with an LMAO. He was laughing his ass off at me and I'm no dummy. But I hadn't spent any of the dollars that I brought with me when I was on holiday there. For the first two weeks, I spent nothing. I was being spent on. So it was difficult for me to actually learn the dollars. Okay, so now when it came to the time when I had to do it, I couldn't. My cousin, however, on the day after my birthday, he... Um, spent about five minutes going through the coins telling me five cents how which one is five cents which one's the uh the quarters which one is the dime and the little brown coins the cents now <laughs> i forgot all about it the following day so come the airport now i was really struggling so i text my friend he came back laughing his head off at me and blah blah blah, blah. and then later on um told me that um, actually this is the question I asked him between the dime and the cent which one is the lower denominator and then he told me the cent was so I said like, okay I have this many five cents this many dimes this many quarters H how much exactly do I have obviously I know a quarter is going to be like 25 so 25 25 three would be 75 so that's I knew the five cents was easy to add up with the thing but the dime is what threw me off I couldn't get to the bottom of the dime I didn't know what the dime was so like I said I text my friend AJ and I told him I have this many cent five cents this many quarters and this many dimes so he told me exactly how much I had and it turns out I had just enough to get that crisps or the chips that I wanted so now I go to off to the snack machine and I type in I punch in the numbers and then the wrong thing comes out I didn't like it it wasn't the flavor I wanted but that was all the coins I had on me it finished on that packet of crisps or chips so I had no choice but to eat that thing I was starving I had to eat it so then I was there eating the thing, not enjoying it and waiting for it to be picked up from the airport. Now when I got picked up, I was like, my friend, please take me to McDonald's or wherever you can take me for me to get some food because I am hungry. So happily for me, they went or stopped by somewhere for me to get something to eat and I was so happy. Um, went and got McDonald's and had that popular milkshake that you guys have over there. We don't have that kind of milkshake here. It was so lovely and so nice. 
I just drank the whole thing. Okay, another time now, we went out in the evening to go to a party. Now, um, at the time we were waiting the queue and things like that, so it was taking too long. I was very thirsty, and that time I had coins as well as the dollar bills. Okay, so we went into the shop with my friend May and uh, went to the fridge, got a bottle of water that was 99 cents. 99 cents now, it's like, okay, I've got a dollar bill, so that should be enough. I took the water bottle to the guy at the till. I give him a dollar bill. He tells me it's not enough. What? One dollar bill for a 99 cent item? It's not enough. And my friends may had to get out a five dollar bill to give to the guy and then she got changed back. Now, I don't get that. In London, if a water bottle costs a 99p and I gave the man at the till one pound, that would be enough. I'll get one p change back. Why is it that 99 cents water bottle and I give you a dollar bill, you tell me it's not enough? This money really confuses the hell out of me. I need somebody to really sit me down and teach me it in order for me to be able to get a good grasp of it. I think the next time I come, that's what's going to happen and I'll be much better than how I was on my first trip. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and thank you for watching. Bye!